Hello, a warm welcome to you from STT University. I am Rafreet Kaur, Faculty of Engineering and Technology. Today we will be learning about purlins. Purlins are beams of light sections spanning between trusses carrying dead load of roof, live load and wind load. Purlins transmit these loads to the trusses. Generally, the purlins are so spaced that they are supported over the top cord joints of the truss. In case of trusses of large spans, it may become necessary to support the purlins over the top cord members between the panel points. In such cases, the top cord members will be subjected to bending movement in addition to axial load. Purlins may be angles, channels, eye sections or tube sections. Purlin is a horizontal beam or bar used for structural support in structures most often below the roof. Purlins are supported either by building's rafters or its walls. These are most commonly used in metal buildings. But in wood frame structures, these also replace closely spaced rafters. A roof purlins support the roof deck suite. The roof deck is the wooden panel, plyboard or sheet metal which creates the roof surface. This is usually filled with some kind of weatherproofing and constructed from concrete and often an insulation material. There are many types of purlins and are divided into groups depending on the material they are made of and the form of their shape. Different purlins are used for multiple uses including a structural wall or floor support. Purlin is necessary as there is no frame for the sheeting on the roof to rest on without it, thereby making purlins important to the roof structure. Purlins carry the roof deck or sheeting loads and are supported by large rafters or building walls, steel beams, etc. In comparison to closely spaced rafters, the use of purlins is common in pre-engineered metal construction systems and both the ancient post and beam and newer pole construction methodologies for frame construction. Purlins pass roof loads to the major structural elements supporting the roof, the form and arrangement of purlins is a design factor that depends on the insistence of roof loads as well as limiting sheeting length to use. In the final analysis, Local building codes should always be understood and implemented in the design of concrete roof structure. Steel purlins are a substitute for conventional wood purlins. They are lightweight, stable in dimension, accurate and simple. In extreme temperature changes, they depend and contract moderately. Steel purlin is typically made of cold formed material which is thin enough to get through the screws. Cold form steel is rendered in the desired shape by rolling or pressing thin sheets of steel in. To the producer, it is less costly than hot rolled steel and is therefore simpler to deal with. Though cold form steel is stronger than hot form steel, when under strain, it is more likely to crack rather than bend. Purlins are made of different metals. Some are simple, 
mild steel having normal strength and some are with zinc coating of different GSM. In harsh weather, special coating can be applied over and above zinc coating. Types of cold form purlins. The first one is C-shaped purlin. C purlins, as the name implies, are formed as in the C alphabet, which is primarily used to support walls and floors. C-section purlins are built to shape a building, shell structures, walls and floor joists, making them also suitable for supporting the beams required for flooring. These may also be used for C-segment purlins with door mounting, roof clipping, window trimming, parapet rails and side rails. Both of our purlin in C-section have similar extensions on their ends, which means they can be used in single spans. These are freestanding and secure, allowing them to be easily managed while being mounted, while also offering stable support in the system. Z-shaped purlins. Another form of Z purlin is stronger than C purlin and is mostly used together at joints and overlaps. Z purlins are horizontal beams that are built to shape a building, shell structures, roof, and wall joists. They sit between roofing sheets and the building, acting as sheet support to ensure that it is firmly attached and secure in place. Due to its relatively high flexibility and lightweight properties, Z purlins are most commonly used in agricultural and industrial buildings, which make them easily adapted for use in a variety of different sizes. Next, we should know why do we use purlins? What purpose does purlin serve in a steel building? To understand this, we really need to get down to the basics of roof purlins in a metal construction. Purlins are an integral part of a pre-engineered structural steel package. Such structural supports extend through the rafter beams perpendicularly. Often known as sheeting sheets, purlins provide the roofing portion of a steel building's secondary framing. Three structural functions are provided by metal roofing purlins. The first one is the roof is protected by the purlin. The second one is, purlins tie the rafters together, stabilizing and reinforcing the rigid framing of the frame. And the third one is, between the spans of individual framing base, purlins provide additional support. As an added benefit, purlins increase the resistance of the system to excessive rainfall. Now we will be discussing why purlins are considered as reliable building materials. Height of buildings rising almost to the sky, apartments, factories and warehouses can be seen everywhere you go. This concrete jungle has now become people's backbone to get a perfect place to rest, work, dine and do other things. What needs to be understood is how these high-rise buildings as well as several hectares of warehouses are built using highly strong materials. A variety of construction materials available in the marketplace are the very thing that makes it look so amazing to build factories and other facilities and allow it to last longer effectively. Berlin is one of those highly common architectural materials among varied materials that can be used efficiently to help and support roof decking or sheeting. Now next we will discuss is about the weight of purlins. The size of purlin depends on the nature of roof covering, supported, wind and other loads and spacing of trusses. Now we consider the following as the weight of the purlins. Like first one is purlin supporting slate roof, 
we consider it to be 120 newton per meter square for lens supporting glazed roof we consider it to be 100 newton per meter square and the third one where per lens supporting corrugated sheeting we consider it to be 80 newton per meter square so today we covered the introduction of per lens in the next lecture we'll be studying the design of per lens keep learning keep growing see you next time